Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Hidden Strike American Revolution from Worthington Publishing, a game by Maurice Suckling and Dorian Richard. Uh, obviously, it's set during the American Revolution, as you can see from the beautiful, beautiful artwork on the cover. And it's a solo, it's, it plays several ways. It plays solo, cooperative, um, uh, with a traitor, liar mechanism as well. So there's several different ways to play it. But we are going to take a look at what you get in the box. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe oh, and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's pull this off. It's a pretty thick box. Uh, yeah, probably about two and a half inches. So, All right, let's see what we got here. So as usual, we start out with a rule book right on top. It's a light rule book. Let's see, it's uh, large print, it's 20 pages, 24 pages most likely. Um, yeah. Well, no, it's 20. It's 20 pages. My bad. So it's full color, glossy stock, uh, full you know, uh, large print. Um, tells you what all the components do. Um, and then we've got the sequence of play. Uh, and these are the other modes of play. So the rules actually seem to go only through uh, through page eight. And then you cover the trader mode, the versus mode, um, mastermind mode. So we get several different ways to play. And then details on the cards. So it's very short on rules, very high on solo. We've got a rule summary on the back for reference, which is nice. Then we've got the score pad. Now they've started to include these in a lot of their games, which is really nice because you can kind of remember uh, how you played if you're not using a tool like uh, BG Stats or or uh, logging your plays on uh, Board Game Gulag or anything like that. So um, it's nice that you can you can record what you did and, and the score and how things how things panned out. So they give you a sheet of score pads. I mean, sheet of scoring sheet. Let's try it again. They give you a pad of scoring sheets. So now we're going to get the board out here. It's a small board. Which, oh, look at this one. It's got one of their nice trays. They've gotten to where they include uh, custom trays for storage now, and they're they're usually pretty solid. They're they're not the cheap, flimsy plastic like you get in a lot of a lot of games. So it's a small board, which is very nice. It's two two by two. And we will take a closer look here. So here you go, and it's. Very nice, got your turn sequence right here on the board. Um, got the different modes listed. And then places for your different fleets. And the different areas where you play forces, so. Very functional, I like that it doesn't take up a lot of space. So that's very cool. Folding it incorrectly. There we go. All right. So now we've got the tray in here with the lid. We'll pull the lid off. So we've got bags of markers. So we got some wooden cubes, uh, some light blue, some powder blue, some royal blue, some purple, uh, got some gray, and then uh, some red. Oh, those are gray. It's not. And so those are cubes. And then we've got these with some more rectangles. And these are an orange, so we've got orange, green, red, and blue. And then we've got these longer pieces, and what, are, what I would guess would be the fleets, because they're, they're pointing like the bow of the ship. And they're in various colors as well, for, obviously, for the different factions. So several wooden tokens in here. We got some baggies, a bag of bags. Oh, sword, and then we've got a couple decks of cards. So let's open those and take a look at those. So we got the two decks of cards open. Um, uh, the cards are very nice, very very nice linen finish, very smooth. Um, let's go through and see what we got here. So we got George Washington Trader card, George Washington Founding Father card. Uh, we got. A marker that indicates whether Canada is American controlled or British controlled. Loyalty cards. So there's not sorted. 
So here's the mastermind card, obviously for the mastermind mode, American forces. So they're like, you know, a lot of games where the cards have to be completely sorted. So like here's Tidewater, American controlled or British controlled. So you got control cards. Um, and then we've got American forces cards. So for example, on those, you got militia. Crossing the Delaware, if deployed in the Northern Colonies force Force March, one deployed American troop up to two points from any unresolved region to the northern colonies. So, you got your different cards that you can play. But again, these are not sort of where we can just say, here's all these. Here's some loyalty cards. Um, more mastermind cards for mastermind mode, I assume. American forces cards. We already saw those. Southern colonies, American, British controlled. So. They're nice. They're nice cards. They're they're reasonably thick. Um, the one thing about Lend and Finish though is it does make them hard to like separate. So probably going to need to sleeve them anyway. Uh, I do like that it's Hidden Strike colon American Revolution, which makes me hopeful if it's a good game, of course, that there's other in the Hidden Strike series that we may see Hidden Strike World War II or Civil War or Vietnam or anything like that. I I've not heard that, but you know seems reasonable. So we do have. The American Forces cards in this deck and loyalty cards. This other deck starts with Mastermind on the back. And I guess you use this to guess which color pegs are in the right order. No, I'm just kidding, obviously. Uh, this is only used in Mastermind mode. Then we got Reserves cards. Uh, deploy a loyalist, force, a loyalist stationed in one of the local force pools. So now we've got British Forces cards, obviously, for them to move. So, and the ones that are pointy are fleet cards, like the the uh, with the with the pointy bow, or are the fleet cards. So, so this is the British Forces, and then we got reserves again. So, uh, they're separated, in that you have the the two wrapped decks are obviously separate, but they are still also kind of uh, you got to sort through them. But anyway. If you pick up a copy of Hidden Strike uh, American Revolution by Worthington Publishing, you're going to get the nice sturdy tray. You're going to get the two decks of cards that you will do some sorting and, you know, only use the ones you need for the game. You're going to get three bags of wooden components. So there are no tokens. This is all uh, move your token, move your wooden components around the board. Uh, you're going to get the game board that we took a look at. You're going to get the scoring record and a 20 page full color rule book. And that is what is in the box for Hidden Strike American Revolution. Designed by Mara Suckling, Dorian Richard, and published by Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!